Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about transformation packs. Uh, what are they? Well basically they you can download these for free and what they do is they skin your Windows operating system to look like other operating systems such as Mac or Linux or things like that. So I have five here. I'll provide all the links in the description. As you can see they're all well, four of them are executable files and one I had to install manually on mine and you'll have to do the same. But I'll provide the download links all the same. So I have my five virtual machines here. They were all a clean install of XP Service Pack 2, which I then cloned five times and then installed the different packs onto them. So let's get started. This is the Vista Transformation Pack by Mr. Windows X. As you can see, this is the boot logo you get when you apply the transformation pack. I think it's 8.0.1 or something like that. I had an issue to begin with, but it just required a couple of restarts to sort everything out. So as you can see, it's kind of like Windows Vista. Windows Vista sounds... It, on most of them it's kept the wallpaper because either I've missed an option or it just hasn't changed it. As you can see it's a Windows Vista style start menu. You're welcomed with a Vista style welcome center. So very very Vista like. So if we say do not show this after. We'll just look at this. You got well, it's just saying what are the standard things. Uh, I'll go into properties and see if we've got a Vista screensaver. Yep. Oh, so if you can see that, kind of see the corner of it. But it's basically the same as Windows Vistas. And if we go in the start menu, you can see, oh, you can see that it's see-through as well. And there's a search bar. So, uh, Outlook. And it actually searches for Outlook, so it's very good. It works, the looks of it. So that's very good. If we go into Explorer, just to see what Explorer looks like. This is what Explorer looks like. On C drive or something, it shows you all the details down here instead of down the side. So yes, yeah, very good, this is. So well done, Mr. Windows X. So that is the Star Transformation Pack. Now, Longhorn Transformation Pack is made by exactly the same person, so I'm not sure who the others are made by, I think they're like other people, but I, I, this when I installed VTP and LTP, they both said buy Mr. Windows X on the setup, and these didn't, so I'm sure I'll find out and provide a link in the description, uh, when I provide the link in the description, so, so this still has the same startup sounds as XP. You've got a sidebar here of different things. I keep getting errors coming up on XP but these are just these are normal errors that came up just because I've got the VMware image or VMware thing in a small resolution. So this is Longhorn. Just gonna go into my computer. There's not much modifications I can see that are major here. So on the C drive it doesn't do anything anywhere. Uh, to properties. No, it just looks like a visual style. Do we have a screensaver? Yes, so I don't think we can preview it, you can quite see the corner of it. But yep, so we've got that, and I suppose uh, we've got lots and lots and lots of different styles for Longhorn XP. So this is about it. If I've missed anything, then please let me know in a, in a comment. This is Fedora. Uh, transformation pack. Quite funky startup logo here. The door is loading. I noticed that look, this looks quite nice when it first starts. These have all got the same hardware, they're just cloned. So we've still got the uh, XP sounds with this, but you know, you'll notice that the icons have changed. So these are all for free. And if we click that, you'll notice that we've still got a kind of start type as Windows. Click my computer, you'll notice that basically the icons have changed. 
And you'll notice that we've also got <laughs> is that a Vista style thing with a with a penguin in. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I can feel a bit risky up. This is just normal things. So, do we have a wallpaper or a um, screensaver even? Oh, this is interesting. Can you see? It says display properties. This is actually transparent. That's that's very good. I like that. Okay, well, yep. So you've got that's the screensaver if you can see it. But yeah, I'm very impressed by this. I'm sure if it, yeah, it works on everything as well. That's quite impressive. It, it's actually see-through. A lot of people have tried to get this working on Vista to have it properly see-through. So, what else is down here? True transparency. So that's what what it must be using. True transparency. So Leopard Mac things like that. And visual tooltips. So if you have something minimised, it shows you a pop-up of what it looks like. And also, uh, task switch XP, if we open up two of these, press, I don't know, if we open up my documents or something, press Alt and Tab, you'll notice that it comes up in a different way. So that is, I like this transparency still, <laughs> uh, that is the Fedora transformation pack. Now, OSX I had an issue with, with the logon style, I had to do a system restore and then start again, but it, I've now got it working. I turned off the logon, it seems to be the logon that's having a problem. You notice that that faded in and now it's got the Apple logo. So I think it was just the, the logon that I had the issue with because now it seems to be working. So it's now opened up fairly big. So you notice that was the, was the XP logon. You notice that you've got the Apple up the top with all skinned icons click the Apple logo, you notice it's got the same uh, the same mouse as Mac has. There's all different things here, it's just an upside down version of the start menu. If you go into my computer, this is all skinned out to be like Mac, which is, it looks quite nice actually, really. And you've of course got the menu down here, which is all, I'm not sure what this is used from. Looks like something like Rocket Dock or something like that. It's, perhaps it's part, their own one, it's part of the pack. But there you go, you've got all the different things you can have on here. I suppose if you click something, it will bounce. Yep, bounces as well. So that's quite good. I'm impressed with the OSX pack. Uh, what else can we check? Just see if there's a screensaver. That looks, that looks quite nice, it's a flurry screensaver. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks quite nice. I think that's included in the Apple. So that is OSX. Last but not least, Ubuntu, which is what I had to do manually. It asked me to do something called find find indexer or something like that, but I didn't do that. I just wanted to do the skin to show you what it looked like because I don't want to be mucking about with other things. So you see that the boot logo has changed for Windows XP. They've made it more bright or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> So, and also the logon logo is different, but you'll notice that the start bar is different. And also, this is using the clear looks visual style, because I knew that as I applied it, and they've changed all the icons. But most of it's the same, it just looks slightly different. So, I had to, I think I had to modify a couple of files, or just alter the, you can change this to blue. So now when you go in, you've got a known thing down here, click it, and now it's all blue. But other than that, I think it's the same. There isn't, there's no extra screensaver here for, for it. But it's all skinned out, so if you want to do any of this sort of thing on your computer, then all you have to do is download these transformation packs, and they will modify your system for you, if you want to have it looking like specific things like OSX and Linux. Uh, that's about it really, thanks for watching my video, these are five of the transformation packs, if there's any more then let me know, these are the ones I know of, I, know, I think there's another one, but I couldn't get that one working, I think it was Leopard Mods or something like that, I couldn't get that one working, so uh, again thanks for watching my video, and please comment, rate and subscribe.